So proud to be working with one of the finest outfitters in the state of Wyoming. Not only is this ranch humongous at over 170,000 total acres, as well it has tons of game, antelope, mule deer, and elk, and lots of them. The country's huge, it's beautiful, the lodging is unbelievable, from the Quakies to the Sage Flats. The service and food are bar none some of the finest we've experienced. And the hunting is unquestionable. Evening one found us glassing on top of this knob and finding a good shooter buck in the high 170s, low 180s that we made a chance at. He had a buddy with him that would cause us some problems, but we decided to make a stop. Like it happens a lot in mule deer country, it's the little buck that blows the stock on the big buck. That's what happened on this one. So we went in from our first evening hunt, got up the next morning and got right back on some deer. The next morning found us glassing from the opposite ridge and locating this group of deer. There was one shooter in the bunch, eight total bucked. We sat on these deer for over five hours. One of them fed into us at less than eight yards. Really, really fun experience, but no shots. The next day found us sitting on our knob glassing this large basin where there were a ton of shooter deer. We snuck in on this one down to 25 yards. We sat on him for about an hour waiting for him to stand. The wind swirled, he squirted out of there. We never even had a shot at him. But again, so fun. The basin across from us is where we were glassing from into this country. So now day four found us on our glassing spot. And this time we had three different groups of shooter bucks spotted. We had a plan A, a plan B, and a plan C. And this was our plan A. There were four bucks in this group, all of which I would shoot that were all 165 or better. The best buck we guessed in the low 180s. So we made a play on these bucks and snuck in and boy, was it fun. One of the nice things about this hunt is the wind is pretty consistent. And so when it blows, you move, and when it calms, you sit. And it takes you a couple hours to move in on these deer, but the wind really covers your noise. We got to 80 on these bucks and two of them stood up and started feeding. They were bedded pretty far away from one another, but when these two stood and worked down the hill, they bedded right with the others. So there were four in a group. We didn't quite know how, where exactly they were, but in sneaking in, we got into 20 yards. It was amazing.
we ended up getting so close trying to get the right camera angle was just simply impossible we were just right with them so we got okay footage but again it's about hunting it's not about camera work In my opinion, this is one of the best mule deer hunts in the country bar none. There were tons of deer. We saw 47 bucks from 160 to 180 and four bucks bigger than that. It was a blast. We had deer to sneak on every day. The accommodations and outfitter were unbelievable. The guides were great. You gotta experience this hunt.